What's up, family? Congressional negotiators has come up with a $1.07 trillion plan to keep the government going through September. But there's a lot of things missing from this 1,665-page bill. Most notably, the wall. Y'all know the great wall Donald Trump said he was going to build. Now, there's a number of issues missing. But this wall is a big one. This is the one that Donald Trump ran on. This is his platform. Remember that? So they are going to allocate $1.5 billion toward border security. But there will be no money, not one penny spent on actually building the wall, which means that there won't be any wall anytime soon. Now, what they are doing is putting money toward enhanced technology and improving existing infrastructure. They're going to do that, but there will be no new wall. Let me ask you something. Y'all don't feel dumb voting for Trump after that? I mean, so far, just lie after lie after lie. Ain't none of the things that he said he's going to do, he's, he's doing. So, and, and, and whatever he's doing, you know, any little thing he does do, y'all want to do, Trump is making America great. He's doing it, he's doing it. What do he say, fake news? It's all fake news, man. Dude ain't doing nothing. Let's go to the next thing, Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood, as you know, have been a target of Republicans forever and a day. They, have on many occasions, planned or actually said that they were going to shut down Planned Parenthood. That's not going to happen anytime in the near future either because Planned Parenthood retains all of their governmental money. They're not going to lose a dime. Next thing, deportation forces. Remember when Donald Trump said he was going to build his new special deportation task force? Not going to happen, y'all. Now, what they are going to do is fund 5,000 additional detention beds. That's a long way from creating a deportation task force, isn't it? Now, the rumor is that these beds that are going to be coming in to the detention centers are put in place, they're going to be put in place so that the detainees can be comfortable as they lay back and watch Donald Trump tell more lies to the American people. <laughs> All right. Moving on, $18 billion in cutting for non-defense spending. Remember he said he's going to do all that? Not going to happen. Now, what they are going to do is spend $295 million on Medicaid in Puerto Rico. Big difference, huh? They're also uh, going to uh, spend... Uh, money on permanently granting health benefits to 22,000 uh, retired uh, coal miners. They're going to do that. But that's about it on non uh, defense spending. Sanctuary cities. You know, the cities that refuse to cooperate with the government to turn in undocumented uh, people. That's not going to happen. Uh, they're not losing any of their funds. Remember what the government was saying? We're going to cut them off. Trump was saying, we're going to cut you off. We're going to cut off your government spending. We're going to cut it out. We're going to cut you. We're going to cut you. We're going to cut you. And they ain't cutting nothing. Ain't nothing changing. Nothing at all. Cuba. The bill does not roll back President Barack Obama's easing of economic 
uh, trade restrictions with Cuba. So any American that goes to Cuba can continue to go to Cuba and bring back items and not have to be uh, subjected to any type of uh, uh, criminal act. They won't have to be uh, objected to, uh, uh, subjected to any type of prosecution. All right. So the uh, the travel for uh, ed educational purposes, all of that will still be allowed. So that's that. Now, remember uh, in February, uh, what's his name? The Speaker of the House, uh, Sean, Sean Spicer said that Trump would take a full review of the U.S.-Cuba relations. <laughs> it's a joke. Marijuana. The bill uh, bars the Department of Justice from interfering with uh, medical marijuana use in states where marijuana, medical marijuana is legal. So, they can't get no money on that side to fight, to try to stop people from smoking that good. That's, that's out. The operators of marijuana companies still have to deal with cash because they're not going to allow them to use banking institutions, which is stupid as hell to me. If you're going to allow them to be in business, they should have, they should be afforded the full uh, benefits of any other type of business that any other business could have. That shouldn't be restrictions. If they're in business, yeah, you're either in business or you ain't. And if you're in, this is a capitalistic society, this is America, capitalistic society. And if you can make a buck, whatever you can do to market your, your business, to, to put you in a better position, to make more money for your company, then you should be able to do that like all the other businesses are able to do that. So the hypocrisy, man, just kills me. The thing is this, man, what it boils down to is that every word Trump has ever said or ever will say is a lie. He ain't going to repeal nothing. He ain't going to replace nothing. Hillary Clinton ain't going to jail. He ain't building no damn wall. Ain't none of that's going to happen. None of that's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what will happen. We're going to have an economic collapse. That's what is going to happen by the time he get out of here. This country going to hell, man. And Donald Trump going to finish it off. Everything about this country is worse. It's been getting worse and worse by the day. It ain't even about a year no more. It used to be about a decade. It's about a day now. And he's just going to finish it off. Under his leadership, the very rich going to continue to be very rich. The majority going to still suffer. The intelligence services, the press, the judiciary, financial regulations, all of these things that keep the GOP in check, has been unchecked by Donald Trump because he wants to be able to rape and pillage the country. He wants to be able to do whatever he wants to do and get away with it. So what he does is that he gets rid of anybody that is going to provide oversight. Anybody that watches them too close. Anybody that watches too close. They're going to try to put the brakes on them, get rid of them, get them out of there. That's his whole M.O. Because he want to be able to do all that dirt and get away with it without being checked. That's his whole thing. And I'm going to tell you something. This country is in a dark place. And right now we got the absolute worst people in leadership positions. These people are evil. These people are wicked. They are the worst. 
and they're in leadership positions and they're calling shots. This country is in a dark place. Right now, you need good people. You need good people around, good people in key positions, good people standing up. You need people that are not afraid to speak the truth. People that are not afraid to go up against bullies. You need people that have principles, that stand on principles, that have a moral obligation to the people that they serve, not just a legal obligation, but a moral obligation to humanity. These people that are running this country are wicked. And every time they put a new person in, in, in a power position, they, it's compounded, the wickedness is compounded. This country is on its last leg and ain't nobody ringing the alarm because there's so many people in this country that are just so arrogant by America's uh, might because America has so much military might. There are a lot of people that are just arrogant about that and just think that America cannot be stopped. <laughs> this is the way that all great empires fail. All of them, all of them fail because of arrogance, because of, uh, because, because of uh, self-aggrandizing uh, leaders, people that beat their own drums. We got too many people like that. And, the, and the, the main dude, he the worst. He is the absolute worst. And many of y'all can't see it and you ain't gonna see it till it's all over. I tell you what, I hope God have mercy on you. Because guess what? Your children won't. Hopefully God will forgive you. Your children won't forgive you. And neither will your grandchildren. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.